hey guys welcome back to my channel today's tutorial is going to be on a nude glam i really hope you guys like this tutorial because i absolutely love this look i posted this look on instagram and everybody loved it if you want to see how i achieve this look please stay tuned make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel and thank you guys for watching okay guys so you know we gotta always get started with the moisturizer it's a must that you moisturize your face because you want to have a nice texture when you apply everything else of course I'm going to use my Pond's dry skin cream my favorite next we're going to go ahead and use our spoolie we're going to brush out those hairs then we're going to set our eyebrows and keep them in place with Anastasia clear gel I'm going to use the dip pomade today, the dip brow pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I haven't used it in so long, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. You're going to dip your brush in there very lightly. You want to make sure you keep a light hand during this whole process because it's so easy to get a harsh eyebrow using this product. Then you're going to slightly take your brush upward and take the product into the rest of the hair and blend that out. and then you're just going to fill in the rest of the hair use your spoolie to blend those brows ladies remember the spoolie is your best friend when doing brows now it's time to carve those brows out to your desired look you're just going to take the concealer of course I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me concealer because this concealer is so creamy I don't have to work too hard to blend it out and so I'm going to go ahead and arch out my brows how I like them and then I'm going to slightly bring the concealer downwards to my crease and that's going to also play a part in my eyeshadow primer that we will apply next and pat that out with your finger remember the finger is warm so it's a good blending method and a lot of people don't like this next step but I prefer it for a more defined look on my brows so we're gonna just carve out the top of those eyebrows clean those up rather and once again blend it out now we're going to go to our eyeshadow base primer and apply that on our lid and all over the rest of our eyes because we want to make sure that the eyeshadow adheres to the um, eyelid and the crease and the transition and we're going to set that concealer with um, setting powder and you can use any translucent powder you can use a really light eyeshadow it doesn't matter I'm going to go into the eyeshadow for my transition shade I don't remember the name of this eyeshadow but I am going to put it in the description box below. I know that I got it from Morph and it was only $2. What a steal. Now this one I know the name of it. It's called Spice because look at that color. That color is gorgeous. That orange color is a perfect neutral color for the summer. It's also a great color for the fall ladies. I cannot wait to make fall tutorials. And then we're going to just blend that out with our blending brush so we can make those eyeshadows blend seamlessly. So we're going to go into Glisten. It's another eyeshadow that I purchased from Morph, which was also $2. We're going to place that all over the lid and slightly bring that up a little bit to the crease because we want that to blend um, very nicely. And we're going to just blend that and do uh, windshield wiper movements. Next we're going to go into dark cocoa and we're going to use that as our outer V color. We're going to use that same blending brush. Also ladies, I got this blending brush from Morph. I don't remember the name of it but like I said I will list everything into the description box below.
and then I lost a little bit of the intensity on my lid so I'm just gonna go back and apply some of that glisten back on my lid and there's the eyes for right now I'm just gonna use a favorite makeup remover wipes which is by Neutrogena and just wipe off all that fallout now we're gonna get on to the face and do some highlight and contouring <laughs> So I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade number 25 just to um, cancel out any of my discolorations, my dark circles. I don't do too much color correcting just because I just feel like I don't have to do all that sometimes. But I, maybe I will do a video on how to color correct for light skin tone and then I'll touch on darker skin tone as well. I'm going to use my Real Techniques. Miracle sponge and blend all that out. Ladies, remember that when using the sponge, you want to make sure that it is damp because that's the best way to use it. It's going to give you a flawless look. And I'm going to also use it to apply my foundation. I am using the L'Oreal Infallible um, Matte Pro Foundation in the shade 108. And because I have dry skin, I probably shouldn't be using this foundation. But ladies, when I tell y'all, this foundation is awesome. It really is awesome. It doesn't make my face look dry. Like when I moisturize and I put my primer on, it is like the perfect finish. So don't think because you have dry skin that you shouldn't use this. Because it actually is a really good product. I recommend it, ladies. And we're just going to blend that out all over the face. And when using the Miracle Sponge, you want to make sure you push into the face. It's kind of like a little buffer, but you want to push into the face because that's going to give you the flawless look that you want. And this is the Real Techniques one, and it was only like $6.99. And I find it to be better than the actual Beauty Blender. Um, next, I'm going to go into my Highlight Concealer. It's Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Duh! <laughs> Shade number 20. And we're just going to highlight those areas that we want to proceed out. And that's going to be the right up under our eyes, um, the bridge of our nose, the cupid's bow, and our chin and our forehead. Because those are the areas that I want people to notice the most. And we're going to also do the sides of our face under our contour area. And it's going to slim our face up, ladies. Just watch. And blend that out with the sponge. Pat it into your face which is the best technique when using these sponges, ladies. I'm telling you, if you don't have one of these, you are definitely missing out. <laughs> As you can see, I love it. And we're just going to continue to blend all that out. And next we're going to go into our banana powder. We're going to set those highlighted areas because we do not want any creasing. Because yes, that is the most unattractive thing ever on your face. When you have all these creases and it's um, product in between those creases. So this banana powder serves a purpose as setting all those creases. Making it look matte and just flawless. And we're going to cook and bake for a few seconds while I do my contour. And of course we're going to go into the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade number 30, which is Cafe. And we're going to just contour the hollows of our cheeks, the surrounding areas of our nose to slim that nose up, and on the sides of our temples. And next I'm going to grab my stippling brush from It Cosmetics. I'm using this brush to blend out the contour. To get rid of those lines. And I find that this stippling brush is the best brush to do this.
and then I like to grab my sponge and do some more blending here I am looking crazy but I'm almost done ladies and we're just gonna wipe away that banana powder because yes we are done cooking <laughs> And you're just going to remove all that excess banana powder off of your face. Because you don't want it to leave a white cast. So you have to remove it. And yes, I am so sad because this whole time I thought that I was filming the rest of this look. And I wasn't, guys. So I feel so bad. And I am so sorry that you're not getting to see the rest of the eye look or the blush or the lips or anything but like I said I will put everything in the description box below and here is the final look I love this look it's perfect for so many things you can wear it to work you can wear it with your girlfriends out if you like this video please thumbs it up tell me what you guys think and don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching my video I'll see you guys next time bye bye